Hey guys, my name is Danielle Nicole and welcome to Monetary Makeup. I am really excited for today's video because we are going to be reviewing the new Tarte Hydroflex Serum Foundation. And while we review and wear test this product, I'm going to talk to you all about the number one mistake that I see people make when they first start investing. Timestamps will be below, so if you're excited to get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell while you're down there. All right, let's get started. Okay, got you all zoomed in just a little bit. So I have the shades 12B and 14B, and 14B is the shade that I'm going to be using today. I think it's just the perfect uh, summer shade, even though I don't have much of a tan today. And uh, for those who are new, I really like to have the opportunity to really try these products out first. Um, you know, first impressions are great and fun, but I like to give as much information as I can. So I've definitely used this uh, foundation before. So I'm just gonna squirt a little bit out of my hand. And uh, this serum foundation is very runny. I don't know if you can see that dripping down my hand. So I'm gonna just do uh, half of my face to start so you can see the comparison. I'm using a damp Shot Miss A sponge. Have you guys ever tried these dollar sponges from Shot Miss A? I must have been hiding under a rock, but they are literally my favorite sponges and they're a dollar. So you can't beat that. Okay, so I'm just gonna start applying this. Now I'm more of a light coverage foundation person, so I don't really cake on the product. I'm kind of all about um, natural, easy, quick makeup. Um, as I mentioned before, my channel is really focused around busy moms since I am uh, one myself. And so this foundation is very lightweight. I will definitely agree with that, um, but it can be built up. So if you do want more coverage, you could definitely uh, can do that. And everyone's jaw is gonna drop, but I don't use concealer very much. Um, I don't have really terrible dark under eye circles. So with these lighter weight foundations, I just take a little bit and put it under there. And it just saves me time in the morning too when I'm trying to get out the door and go to client appointments. Does anyone else have a YouTube channel and they just started and they're trying to get used to having a mirror and where everything is on camera? <laughs> so this is a side with no foundation. As you can see, I have quite a bit of uh, redness and I have a cool undertone, so it's like a double, double pink complexion. So, yeah, I think it does a really nice job at making your skin look natural. I don't think you would be able to tell that I have foundation on right now. Okay, so let's go back and we'll apply the rest of the face. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to apply the right half of my face. I believe it's flipped around in your left. We are going to talk about the number one mistake that I see people make before they start investing or as they're considering it. You ready for it? It is not having a PAP plan in place. So what the heck is a PAP plan? So you might want to grab a pen for this and write down P-A-P. -P. And P stands for protection. A stands for accumulation. And the last P stands for preservation. So the mistake is actually not looking at the protection stage. So with protection, what I mean by that 
is your bills, your budget, and your insurance. So if you want to write that down next to protection, budget, bills, and insurance. So, you know, I get it. When you're a busy mom, you know, you're busy, right? Um, you know, you're taking the kids to soccer practice. You are cooking meals. And does anyone else have a never-ending to-do list? I mean, I don't think I've ever checked off 100% of all of my to-do lists. So I can totally understand that it can be a little bit of work to figure this out um, first. But that first P with the protection stage is often the most overlooked um, phase when you're first considering investing. Um, it's just kind of like buying a house, so, and, or I should say building a house, and when you're building a house, you have to have a good foundation in place, right? I mean, you wouldn't start with the chimney and the windows and the electric. You would, of course, have to have that solid foundation in first. So just to give you an example, um, so last year during COVID, how many people, sadly, you know, lost their jobs or had loved ones pass away? You just never can predict the future. Um, so it's really important to understand what your bills are, what your budget is, what is your disposable income and your insurance. So the example that I have for you is I had a client a couple of years ago that I met with and they didn't have any life insurance in place and they had started an IRA, which fantastic. I mean, don't get me wrong, doing something is much better than doing nothing. Um, but because her husband had passed away, now all of a sudden their retirement plan was completely flipped upside down and it was just a complete nightmare. And just to tell you guys a, a quick little story about my family, I have a, a family member that they had a family very young and they had to start working when they were 14 years old. So this is quite a while ago. And, and they opened up their own car business. So it was really neat because I got to see my own family go from having absolutely nothing being an entrepreneur, opening up their own successful car business, and it was amazing to get to see that. And they were multimillionaires. And when they got to retirement, the market crashed, the the car industry crashed at the same time. Anyone else remember uh, 2008? It was it feels like it was so long ago now. So I watched them go from having absolutely nothing to having the life that they wanted for themselves to losing it all. I had to watch them sell off every last piece of furniture, jewelry, and everything that they had. So that's kind of the backstory how I got into finance and insurance. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, oh, you're just preaching, you know, buy life insurance. Life insurance is not the solution for everyone. It's just an example of understanding um, what your bills are, what your disposable income is, and at least knowing what insurance you have. So that way, if something did happen, God forbid, you at least know, okay, if this happens, I have another plan in place. So don't be afraid to reach out to other people, professionals. It can be really difficult to try and figure this out on your own. When I first started this industry, I was completely lost too. Okay, so that's my uh, little soapbox of making sure you don't skip that protection phase. So I just really encourage you to take, even if it's five minutes a day, 10 minutes a day, writing everything down, getting organized and figuring out where you're at. So that way, when you do start investing, you have a much more solid base to know where you're at in order to figure out which investment strategy is best for you. So if you're getting value out of this so far, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And now that I have blended in this foundation, the new Tarte Hydroflex Serum Foundation, shade 14B, let me show you all what it looks like. Okay, so we are in front of the window again. This side, this side. Now, you guys, like I mentioned the other day, it's still, almost 90 degrees in here. So 
my redness that's peeking through is just because I'm so hot. Uh, so normally it, it does cover that. Well, I could apply another layer, but I like the natural finish that this foundation has. And that's just the kind of gal I am. So I will check in with you all at the end of the day. It should be about eight hours. Uh, so you can see how the makeup held up. And I'm probably going to have a little bit more of um, bronzer and a few other items on too. So I'll probably have more makeup on when I check back in. All right, see you later on tonight. Okay, so here we have two shades of the Tarte Hydroflex Serum Foundation. So this is 14B and 12B. And 14B is the shade I used in the video. So here's the two swatches. So the first one here is 12B. So these are both cooler undertones. And then this is the shade 14B, right next to it. So I would say if you have a cool undertone and you are more light, you can definitely get away with the shade 14B. But if you're more fair, then I would definitely go with 12B. So you, you can see it's just a little bit lighter than 14B. All right, hi you guys. This is the Tarte Hydroflex Serum Foundation check-in. Uh, this has been on for about 10 hours now. And you guys, this foundation is incredible. Incredible. I mean, I have oily dehydrated skin, so I kind of have the best of both worlds. And it, I, I would say that on the description, it says that it's flexible. And it's really weird because it is. I mean, I don't think you can tell that I'm even wearing foundation, yet everything looks really even. And I do have a little bit of oils coming through. So I wouldn't say that it's um, oil proof per se, but I have been sweating in and out. It's about 90 degrees in Michigan today. I don't know, I love this. This is one of my new favorite foundations. And if you've tried this foundation, let me know. I am really curious um, if anyone else has tried it and they liked it, because I know it was kind of dropped under the radar but even up close my large pores and everything it just looks so good I mean this is totally worth the $39 price tag that it has so okay so I just wanted to check in and let you guys see how this foundation performed at the end of the day I have been using this foundation for I don't know, months since it came out, so I, I know that I like it, but I wanted to show you guys that it really does have some great staying power, definitely becoming one of my holy grail foundations. And if you guys like this contact, uh, content, definitely drop a comment below, tag monetary makeup, and just let me know if you guys like these kind of videos. I mentioned it in the first one I did where we talk about, we review makeup, then we talk about things going on in the world, finance, insurance. So let me know if you actually enjoy this kind of content. Like I said, I'm just a regular gal who works in the service industry and I just want to, you know, get, help you guys out and give you as much information that I can to help you all out during these um, complex times, I guess you could say. So yeah, love this foundation. I do have a few um, videos coming up soon. I did order some of the new Electric Mood um, palettes from e.l.f. So that'll be coming up too. And let me know what you guys want me to talk about in my next video. Thanks so much for uh, watching and spending your time with me today. I hope you all have a great day or night. Thank you so much. Bye.